I'm at the uh, Chino Dome Trailhead and I'm going to run a shorter loop of the Chino Dome Trail. It's an abbreviated loop. It's like 19, 20 miles. I'm about a week out from uh, the Equinox Trail Marathon. So I wanted to get in one last good solid effort before the race. And I'm going to take most of the next week off. And uh, today is going to be not so much about just beating up on myself. It's just to go out and have fun. Do a lot of hiking. Run when I can run have a fun little adventure and uh, hopefully I can bring you along for the run. Out of some magical string of luck, I picked the perfect day to go try to run this loop. It is so beautiful out, the sky is blue, the trees are the most amazing colors. It's gonna be such a great day. Well, I did something that only I could do. Came down off this embankment to come down here just to film some footage really quick. And uh, I fell in. <laughs> it's uh, about thigh deep right here. Um, it's cold. <laughs> I'm already soaked. It's like, what the hell? My shoes are soaked. Oh my God. This is not how you want to start a 20 mile run. Oh. Good grief. Lucky for me, when I fell in the river, I landed on my feet, so only my legs and feet got wet. If my upper body would have gotten wet, this would be a whole different story. been hiking a lot early on where I would normally be running just like I said earlier I just don't want to blow myself out today just out having fun not really worried about it I don't care if it takes all day uh, I'm estimating a time between four and five hours because I'm in no hurry I'm stopping to take pictures jump into rivers you know film video and stuff it's the fun routes <laughs> Top of the first climb. My next climb is that guy there. It's about a half a mile. I'm tripping. It's about a half a mile. I'm just like, yeah, it sucks. So I'm gonna stop here for a second, <coughs> eat a little bit before I take off. I'm just gonna enjoy this beautiful view. And yeah. <laughs> Second climb done. I'm at the top of about mile five, a little over mile five. Ooh boy, that was fun. It is just beautiful out. Oh my God. The high point of the day is that uh, dome off in the distance. That's about mile seven of the trail, so about mile, about mile nine for me, I think. <coughs> Ways to go. Eventually, I'm gonna drop down into this drainage and I'm gonna run the base of the hills all the way back, about eight, mile, eight miles out. Uh, most of it's runnable, so I'm trying to save my energy for that. All right. Time to get a move on.
This is one of my favorite sections of the trail. The rust red color of the foliage creates a dreamscape in my mind. Just magical. Hit the high point of the run. Been doing a lot of hiking, just taking it easy and having fun. What a beautiful day! I am descending the saddle that will be my uh, entry point into the Angel Creek drainage system. Pretty straight down. All right, so, Genome Trail comes down through all these saddles and hills, comes down around, and drops down into this big saddle down here. It's about 800 feet down. We're going to Go across here, cross the side of that hill, and then it takes about a mile to get down to the cabin. And then we'll hit the hillside trail and start running out. It's about 11 more miles to go. We just came down that. Uh, last time we spoke, I was up on the top of it, and here we are. <laughs> now we're going to descend down to the drainage, eat, and then enjoy a really pretty run out. Love the colors. It's so beautiful here. Oh my god. I feel like I'm bushwhacking through a technicolor dream right now. Well, I made it down to the cabin and I have got my pack all sorted out, swapped out the water, hung up the poles. I ain't gonna need them for the last nine miles of this run. Um, it's beautiful. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm glad I wore this shirt for the first couple hours, but to do without it now. Um, feel pretty good since I've been doing a lot of hiking. So last nine miles should go by fairly quickly. Yeah, we're going to head down that beautiful road and uh, enjoy the rest of this journey.
what else to say but wow just wow this is awesome So, I just scared the living crap out of myself. I'm scared to death, I'm gonna lose my car keys. Anytime I'm out here on these long runs like this, a long ways from town, I'm just scared to death I'm gonna strand myself. Now normally, I keep my car keys right there. Today I put it into the back pocket with the key fob lock, just as a precaution running down the trail here and all of a sudden I reached down to this pocket in front no keys I immediately stopped running just sucked in air just was like ah! and then I realized I put it in the back of my pack I actually had to walk for a bit let the adrenaline run off Whew, that was frightening. <laughs> three miles there's a spring and I'll know I'm at three miles when I hit the spring and I'll be happy and I'll rejoice because it's the majority of it's downhill after that and very fun spring it's the only water source in the first three miles of this trail four miles maybe where it's a year-round flow so you're almost guaranteed to get water also means I have three miles to go nice majority of it's downhill because my legs are tired I'm tired. That was pretty hard. <laughs> I am uh, completely exhausted more than I meant to be ran way too hard that last four miles that was wow way to cap off the day though man that was fun oh what an adventure that was good it's gonna take me a while to edit this video I'll be honest with you all right I'm gonna get out of here don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell for notifications and uh See you guys on the trail. Take it easy.